Like, before I even met Gucci, like, I was working every day. Like, when I first started rapping, bro, when I came from Miami, bro, and I said I wanted to be a rapper, bro, like, anything I see I'm gonna do, I ain't gonna play it. So I go hard at it, and I just, that's what I did. And I don't care what it took. If it took my, all my money, something, I, I, I went broke for music, bro. Like, literally broke, bro. I done had my money, bro, did all this, and I done went broke for really going to the studio. Like, I had to really ask myself, like, bro, you really think this is gonna pay off? I always been a leader, bro. I always been somebody that that people can learn off of and you can follow. You know what I'm saying? I always was getting money. I always had my own crew, did my own thing. So it's like I stood out. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like a normal kid that grew up like a normal kid. That you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I didn't grow up. There. I grew up fast, bro, in the streets. So it's like the streets really made me, got me that popularity. And, you know, young dude driving grown man cars in the neighborhood. That right there in a in a poverty area that stick you out like a sore thumb. You feel what I'm saying? That's how it was to me. I was a kid again. You call my dad. He used to go to his buildings and have all his workers put windows in and everything. So like for me, just growing up around that, it really rubbed off on me too. So when I picked up a mic, it was like 2012. The end of 2012. Like I never knew I was gonna be around. I never wanted to be around. Never, never once to my homies or my father or my mother and said, I'm gonna go be a rapper. I always was like, I'm gonna be a trapper. Three months after I started rapping, bro, I made, I made regular. I made my money. I still was in the streets, but it's like my buzz got bigger. Then it's like, I'm starting to get flew out to New York. I'm getting flew out to, now it's like the rapping taking me places. Now it's like, it's a business, you know what I'm saying? Then I had one foot in, one foot out. You know what I'm saying? One foot in the trap, one foot in the, in the, in the, in the studio. That was my problem, you know what I'm saying? I'd wake up in the morning from a long studio session go right to the block, do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying, handle my, you know what I'm saying, get to my money. You know, I was a young, wild dude, bro, you feel me? That's how I kept going back to jail, and I was in a neighborhood where I was I was really targeted, bro. You know what I'm saying, it was times where I got pulled over with $60,000, $70,000, they asked me like where I got it from. It's times where they didn't took, you know what I'm saying, both loads of money from me. But I got it back though, because I always was smart and knew how to move. My buzz actually started going down when I got locked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was going up, but the first time I got locked up, it was cool, I'm lying. The buzz went up because I had a real campaign about it. Then, you know, I came home, like in 2015. Then I got locked right back up, bro. I got locked up March 29th, 2016. I remember this still day. I did a whole nother year. So when I came, a whole nother year, I came home, I'm like, man, fuck it, it's all rapping now. You know what I'm saying? I was in there, I was getting all the mail. I'm seeing like, damn, I'm missing opportunities. I'm, it's people sending me money I never even saw. You know what I'm saying? It's people sending me pictures, like everything. I got stacks of mail every day, bro. I'm just looking like, damn, so I can really do something with this. So I already told myself in jail, I just gave myself a talk thinking, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I'm, I'm just going to put my all into it. You know what I'm saying? And look where it took me to. You know what I'm saying? Hey, me and Valet. We ain't, we, we ain't really get rocking to, like, Chase the Money really put us together. But me and him was fucking with each other before because both of us heard about each other type shit. You know what I'm saying? So when I got with Chase the Money, it's like, we automatically started working, bro. Or he like, bro, I want to rock. When I first ever seen Chase the Money, you know what he said to me? I want to do a tape with you, bro. I'm like, let's get it. Like, I ain't even know him. I, I'm just like, who's this puppy dude with hell? You know what I'm saying? Hell, everyone. I'm like, who is this? I ain't even know him, bro. He said, I want to do a take with you. I'm like, right, let's do it. So he just played his first beat. Then I'm like, damn, that shit really hard. Then I, we went to Chicago, bro. We knocked out the whole ZTM tape in four or five days, literally. And then I had Valet come up there with another couple tracks. And that's how he put the tape together. It was hard. This is probably like the fourth day, bro. When I heard the beat, I just instantly zoned out. You feel what I'm saying? And like me and Valet, we just, we was on two different sides of rooms. I was like, when well, he was like way over there. I just was vibing out there, I just grabbed my phone, I started writing to it. And I started seeing like, like the pop tarts and wildcard shit just came, just, just stuck to my head, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it. Then you know, I really do like pop tarts, you feel what I'm saying? So I like, and I really do drink wildcard, you know what I'm saying? So it was like something that, that's really, that really, I, it was just, I'm just speaking fact. So I'm like, yeah, it was about some pop tarts. So I'm writing it, and I'm like, I'm gonna start, I go over and I start sending to, letting ballet hit. Ballet, like while I'm saying it to him, he he get happy as hell. He get he 
So I, I just go in the booth. When I'm, when I'm doing a song, I see Valet out there writing this shit. He ready. I come out. We go right in and do this shit. It was like, it was crazy, bro. The song was so hard. We played it back. I'm like, bro, go wait, chase the money up, bro. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had to go wake him up. He woke up, he heard it. He, he put his hands up, like, oh, it's over with. It's over with. We got one. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, that was like the last day we finished recording, bro. Both of us went to Atlanta. Then we just started playing with the tape. I, to keep it real with you, bro, that's like the song of the year, bro. That's the song of the year, bro. Like, I, I, I ain't gonna say everybody, but I heard a lot of people trying to rap like that style. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, that's, okay. that's what's up, though. I fuck with it. Like when I met him, bro, when we when we got in the studio together, bro, it was like an instant, it was like instant chemistry, bro. Like instant. Literally, bro, I, I look up to Gucci my whole Gucci rapper career was like my rapping career, bro. I swear to God, bro. I, he, if he let me down, I was mad type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when we had Gucci in jail, I'm like, damn. But I know, I already knew that his work ethic, his drive, his just his body language, bro. Everything about him, bro, is something that I can rock with. It's something like I can relate to because it's something like me. You know what I'm saying? And then when I meet him, how how down earth he is, bro. And then when we working, bro, like bro, he want to do ten. When he say he's gonna do ten songs, what we gonna do ten songs, bro? Me, him, and Pablo's in the studio in Miami. He go to sleep. Me and Pablo in there working. You know what I'm saying? When he working, finish working, we did. I think it's time to go. Like seven and six in the morning. That time to go. He wake right up. Oh, I ain't time to go. We finna finish these songs. You know what I'm saying? Oh no. Oh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just like, it like I'm learning off that. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything. It's like I learned a lot of Gucci. It's it's coming. We got something for y'all. I, I we it's coming, man. Just give us time. It's coming though. I promise you, it's coming. If we, we wanted to just decide and put it, we could do that shit whenever, bro. Right now, it's just both of us, we working. We want to get this shit right and make sure it come out right. When we do drop that tape, though, best for y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get it. It's coming.